Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we're going to show you how to uninstall McAfee trial version on any laptops or PCs that you may have bought with trial software installed. Uh, part of the computers that are in uh, use actually have antivirus trials when you buy them. S there are a few exceptions. I've seen companies like Dell, for example, offer full year subscriptions. But uh, for most part, uh, antivirus software installed, pre-installed on any machine you buy is pretty much trial. And, um, you know, there's Windows Defender in Windows 8 that I think is actually a great antivirus. Uh, and if you are an average user that just, you know, does a little bit of email, goes a little bit on the web, does some searches, I think Windows Defender is quite enough. Uh, for antivirus. So if you've got a trial version of uh, McAfee, you'll see that you have the icon at the bottom right in the taskbar and like here this one is a trial version and has uh, 30 days left. So how to uninstall it? All you have to do is you uh, go into the bottom left right click and go in control panel. If you can't find it there you can go into the charms bar and the right in the right side of your screen, click search, just type control panel. Once you're in the control panel, you will have uh, either icon or category views. If you are in categories, look at programs and click uninstall a program. If you are in the icon view, then just go into programs and features. There, all you have to do is search for McAfee whatever you have. It could be McAfee Antivirus, uh, McAfee Internet Security. Uh, the one I have is McAfee Total Protection. This is pretty much every... Uh, um, is the same way of uninstalling whatever version you have. Click the uninstall button and there you will have the uninstall of the McAfee. Just put check marks, total protection, remove everything, everything, side advisor, everything that you see from McAfee. Put check marks here and click remove. It will might actually uh, you know warn you that you have an active subscription if you did subscribe or if you subscribe for example I subscribe for 30 days so it tells me I still have an active subscription. Uh, you just click remove and continue on and let it progress. Of course you'll have your computers at risk you're removing McAfee doesn't matter just click close to that window and let the McAfee software uninstall. In most cases, uh, McAfee, when it uninstalls, will actually activate the Windows Defender that was already on the machine. But in some cases, it does not. If it does not, uh, there's a video online on the channel that explains how to activate your Windows Defender software if McAfee or any other antivirus um, does not activate the uh, Windows Defender software on Windows 8. Um, why should you uninstall a uh, trial version? Well, it depends on you because a lot of people want to have a paid antivirus and I think, you know, paid antiviruses do uh, make a better job than uh, free antiviruses. But it all depends on what you do with your computer. If you're the kind of, you know, safe user that always goes to the same places, doesn't do much, doesn't download files from everywhere on the web. Um, the free protection of Windows Defender is quite enough. If you are more than that, if you download lots of files, if you interact with a lot of people that send you files uh, and you install lots of programs, then uh, paid antivirus is probably best. One thing about McAfee is that I don't like McAfee. Uh, I find that it really slows down most computers and it's not really a good antivirus. Uh, I think from the test that I made, uh, you can check the test on the website. I did test it. And um, if you want to have a paid antivirus, I think you should um, probably check for something else. Uh, Northern 360 that I tested was actually a good one. And uh, check for our test. We'll have tests of many antiviruses on the, on the channel. So uh, give you an idea maybe which one is better. Uh, you can go to your favorite computer store and actually buy it by what the, uh, you know, computer tech there might suggest um, but anything but make a few for now is uh, 
um, okay as you see here uninstall is quite long you have to wait for everything to happen um, it's typical of McAfee it was a pretty big install 5 to 10 minutes when I installed it and um, that's quite a long install for a software actually Norton didn't take that long to install actually so uh, it gives you an idea that it's actually a, a big piece of software and has a lot of features that are installed and uninstalled so uh, you know you wait for the removal with a little green progression that's uh, telling you what it's doing computers um, with you know trial of antiviruses are very popular because one of the reason is McAfee, Norton and a lot of different companies will actually want to have their trials on computers they actually pay the computer manufacturer to have their trial version on the computer because they know that if you have a trial you might actually um, subscribe so they know they'll make money with you know um, a small portion of all those machines and that's why they'll they're going to pay and it actually lowers the price of the computer that you just bought and after it's removed you've got restart now and all you have to do is click restart now computer will restart and hopefully everything will be okay if you have a problem with McAfee removal then you can try McAfee removal tool and um, in the uh, McAfee support there is a removal tool for McAfee so um, if you have problems uninstalling McAfee doesn't want it gives you error messages then click the McAfee removal tool that you might have um, actually download the McAfee uh, removal tool that they actually give you they will give you a few pointers first but if nothing works there's a McAfee removal tool that you can actually download to clean up and to make sure that everything is off your computer if you've got problems and uh, so if everything goes well we'll just go to restart now if you um, have problems restart your computer and try again before you use the removal tool from the McAfee website because um, the removal tool actually can sometimes break windows uh, because it doesn't remove it in the same manner as the uninstall does but um, hopefully everything went well and you click the restart and everything's fine when you finished if you enjoy our videos why not subscribe to our channel you'll be informed when new videos are online if you have any comments or questions on what you've seen let us know maybe you have a feature of windows or um, any other um, windows 8 uh, problems you might have that we can make a video of and help everyone at the same time let us know and hopefully you'll come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.